Hey, Venus and Virgo. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at you. I'm just asking, like, I know what you've been through in uh, during this Mercury retrograde. I know. I get it. I totally get it. Try to warn you. Um, and what you are still currently going through and probably will be going through for the next three weeks. I get it. It was a lot. People tried you. I mean, they really did try you. First card out, Princess of Wands. And then we have the Princess of Swords and then the Prince of Wands, okay. Um, yeah, people tried you. You thought that you were losing your mind. People had a point to prove. You had a point to prove. Um, just a lot of points to be made, right? Well, I mean, things happen. Okay, we got a lot of cards that flipped over. Things happen. Whatever was said was said. Whatever was done was done. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Empress. We have the two of swords and then we have the will of fortune okay that's it that's all i want to say just checking in on you i don't know if what we just discussed will be resonated within these cards but Let's get right to it, shall we? No time to waste. Princess of Wands, Prince, Princess of Swords, and then the Prince of Wands. Okay. Passion is what I'm seeing. A lot of passion. Um, passion, words, okay. Uh, King of Pentacles and the Chariot. Passion, words, um, a moving forward of some sorts with something. Like you've been having a discussion or you've had words with someone and then there's a let's do this type of energy. Two of Wands, the Empress, Two of Swords, and the Will of Fortune. Deciding on a direction in a way to funnel your creativity but for whatever reason you try to move forward, there's a stop, a hard stop. And I'm, oh, okay. I think that stop was probably the retrograde. Now, it seems that um, there it's a go. Whatever it is, if it's a project that you've been involved in, that you know there's been some communication back and forth, things are moving forward now. Um, something you were trying to create, but there was a hard stop. But because the will of fortune is here, that stop was to your benefit. It was for your good. King of Pentacles, the Chariot. Something is funded and stable now that you can move forward. Like you've been given the green light from a boss, somebody high up that 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 has the purse strings that can say, here you go. It's a go now, okay? Okay. Let's look at these cards and we're gonna continue to shuffle a bit more so you can see what I'm talking about and then we'll go from there, all right? Be right back. And we're back. So, Princess of Wands, Princess of Swords, Prince of Wands. Passion, words, fire and air. Communication, passionate communication. 
and now there's an, uh, an energy of forward momentum. Um, fun, yes, but forward momentum. Two of Wands, the Empress. You wanting to create something, there's an abundance. There's like, it's a, a lot of uh, possibility here. Like you see where something could go and you want to go to it. You want to create it. You want to, oh, this popped out, Seven of Swords. It, um, you want to create it. And for whatever reason, the Two of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, it was stopped. The decision was not made, didn't want to be made, and there was nothing that you can do about it. It's been, it was stalled. But that was okay. Why? Because the King of Pentacles and the Chariot. Perhaps there was no money, perhaps. I don't know. Somebody finally decided, okay, yeah, you got the green light for something else. I don't know if this is a go, like you get to move on from something or the person who stopped it so they could go with something. I don't know, but there's a communication was stalled, but it was for your good, I think. Um, Seven of Swords, something is not what it seems, though. And that could, that's, that's just another layer. Let's see. Um, I think it's just coming out of that, that, that energy of that Neptunian energy, Mercury finally going direct and leaving and then going into Aries. Sun going into Taurus. So I think that's probably when you, whatever this is, will move forward. So this is like maybe towards the latter end of the, the month where something will get the green light to, to go forward. You want it to go there now, but it's not. But towards the end of the month, it seems like it will. Just be patient with that. Seven of Swords, something, like I said, all is not seen. Yes, you may have to go at it alone. Okay. What is this? The Four of Swords. Okay, so conversations are had behind the scenes. Um, shit that you can't even, you're not a part of. You're not a part of. Behind the scenes conversations. Um, perhaps this could be you having these negotiations behind the scenes. Some things needing to flush out. Seven of Swords, though. Yeah. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords. Not trust. There's no trust there. Or, I mean, you may have made some calls behind the scenes. But it seems here, though, that, I mean... <laughs> Passion, communication. Prince of Cups. Somebody in their feelings. Of course, someone is always in their feelings um, about these communications. So, you know, in the Rider Weight deck, this is. He would actually be um, going that way, but he's like looking here, looking directly ahead. He knows what he wants. Something is growing. Then he has the scorpion. I just realized he has a scorpion on his sleeves. Are you dealing with the Scorpio? You have any Scorpio placements where you have to, um, <laughs> Scorpio, I was about to say a Scorpio moon. Um, this is someone this makes sense if you have like a Scorpio moon or a moon in the 8th house um, a watery moon like you're 
doing something behind the scenes where people can't see. Some shit is going on. If you're dealing with the Scorpio, of course, this energy would be here just because we're not, uh, that energy is not for everyone to see. So you have the Five of Cups reversed. So no longer. Oh. Okay. Somebody had like was disappointed in something or like they had their feelings hurt. They were depressed about something, but now they're over it. They've gotten their feelings together. This retrograde helped them to get out of their feelings about something. I dig, I get it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Um, does this resonate with you all? Coming out of that retrograde, and retrograde is a motherfucker. We all know that much. So, what else do I see here? If you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, things kind of stopped for a minute. But the Taurus is leaving. Um, you may think that it was a bad thing, but they've decided to move on from this situation. Um, conversations were had, this person and their feelings, they've healed. And, it, and this could just be, you know, you came back and somebody came back to try to get some type of closure you're open to moving on and creating something new. Fortune said, no, this person needs to move on to something more. They need to move on. You or this energy here with the seven of swords, four of swords speaks to a healing. This is a personal healing for you. You finally, because it's four swords, this comes after the three of swords, right? Where you take some time to yourself. So this energy here, it's like you just want it to go off by yourself. And I think this is what this energy is here. You wanting to go off by yourself to not be involved in a romantic situation just for money. It's like I got my own shit. And then you're the empress. This is the king of pentacles. What the fuck they going? You see what I'm saying? Like, what is that? You're the empress. You're the one. What can you do with a king? You can. You need an emperor. Okay. So down here, there's an energy of going at it alone, um, not making your. It's like you're make you're playing chess here, and you may decline something for something better. Because this Prince of Cups energy, the moon and the five of cups, it's like this cycle is one that's healing. Uh, this person just needs, it's like this person or this energy represented something for you that you needed to heal from. They just need to come to give you a message and just stop in that moment to say whatever it is they need to say. You taking whatever they needed to say and doing whatever it is you need to do with it. And then they heal. They get to move on with their life. Not feeling guilt, not being depressed. And moving on with their feelings, moving on to their dreams and their aspirations, which makes sense. This is between you and someone else. Communication between someone else. Princess of Wands, Prince of Wands. You're looking this way and they're looking that way. So there's a splitting, a big split. But it seems like it could be, it's maybe amicable, an amicable split. 
is what I'm seeing now. Yeah, that's it. So you could be leaving a job, a relationship, a friendship. Or it could just be you finally moving on from something. Like dropping an issue with a friend or something like that. Because now... He's looking forward. Your emotion, it's like you're just fading into the background. Here you are on the surface waiting. You're you're abundant. You have a lot of things going on. You have the fu you're very much looking in a direction of the future. You have something in your sight and you're being very quiet about it. Hush hush. Someone is looking at you, viewing you. They want to come to you, but they probably realize, no, she's on a, like, you're just not up for the bullshit. And so they're just like, eh, okay, well, I can move on from that. I honestly don't think, do you need one, two, three, four? Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to give you an extent. I wasn't going to give you one, but I think you need one. Um, let's look at the bottom of the deck, the deck, the deck, the deck really quickly. Show you what we'll be looking at. If you choose to embrace what I have to say. Ten of Swords, Prince of Pentacles, Ten, ten of Swords, King of Swords. King of Cups, the Hermit, <laughs> and then the Eight of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So those are the cards we're going to be looking at in the extent. I want to clarify the Empress. And ask what was so fortunate about this. Why was this stall fortunate? And then we're going to the chariot. Where are they going? Um, the moon. We'll clarify the moon. Then we'll talk about these cards down here. All right. All right, Venus and Virgo. Thank you for watching. See you in May.